man. They're still wet. Ah, oh, that's not good. That ever happened to you guys? Oh. You know what? Let's uh let's pull this dryer out and see what's really the, the problem here. Alright, before we get going nuts on trying to pull this dryer apart, well, I mean, I would hope anybody having this problem is smart enough to pull the lint tray out. Make sure it's not uh, all filled with good stuff. Take a look down in there. We have our discharge line here. Well, that's what our first thing we're going to take a look at. So pull the dryer out, open that up, and make sure there's nothing in there, like a bird's nest, or, you know, rat's nest, or whatever it may be. So let's get pulling this puppy out. All right, I went ahead and pulled our discharge out, which is just really easy. It just has a little clamp on it, you know, just. Kind of pulls off the back, the back there. Well, I do. I mean, I hear some jingle jingle stuff in there that uh, doesn't sound quite right. So, mm, that's a mess to clean up, huh? What all I like to do, especially in an area like this, is really relatively easy to get to. Most of them are on the floor or wherever they are. I like to collapse the hose. It's easier to look through because you can't look at it. It's going like this, right? So, got it. And, you know, looking in there, and I have a really clear view uh, of the outside flapper there. And again, you want to make sure those outside flappers, and I'll show you later on, that they are all in one piece and they're not all clogged up and stuff. Because when you have blockage anywhere in the dryer, the hose, or even that flapper that, you know, you really start getting a lot of stuff in there, well, if it's blocked, your dryer really can't force that air out nice and freely like it's supposed to. The more air that comes in, goes out, well, the, 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 the clothes get drier, like having your clothes on a clothesline outside. Well, especially in the winter months like now, I prefer the dryer, but I also prefer dry clothes. So, the line wasn't so bad, having a few things in there, but nothing by far to stop our, our clothes from drying. So, we're going to... Uh, we're going to open this puppy up and see what's inside of it. All right. Well, I got the dryer back on and I came outside here to look at the, uh, whatever you can see. I turned the dryer on and you can see uh, we got some air motion going on over there, exactly how it's supposed to be. And as well, it's still pretty dirty on the outside. I have to get up on a ladder to clean that out. All right. What I went ahead and did, I removed, removed the back cover. Um, you know, I'm looking in here. This is where our discharge line is. And I don't, uh, I don't see anything in there. I reach my hand in there, I grab the fan in there. Now the fan is uh, usually connected with the belt, uh, and that's what also makes the whole drum turn. Uh, so of course, uh, you know what? Before you do any of this, make sure your uh, your drum is actually spinning. And then of course, turn the dryer on. You know, give it a second, open the door real fast, and see if it has any movement. If it doesn't, well, then you have a different issue. Um, anyway, but just looking at the back of this, it's really. Uh, it's dirty, you know, normal uh, dirt stuff. What I went ahead and did, I unscrewed this whole portion here. Now this is where your lint would go. Your lint goes up, up on the top there, and that's where that lint trap was. One more screws. And be prepared for a lot of screws too. Uh, I don't know. That don't look that pretty, huh? I Means a lot of stuff in there. Um, you know, it's, it's so so. Hey, well, that would be the problem. Look at that. Ooh, man. Ah, uh, that's nasty. Ooh, man. My clothes are next to that thing? Well, I think we found our problem just right there by itself. Well, let's go ahead and just keep taking this thing, keep examining it. You know, we want to clean it all up. What you do is get a, uh, I'm going to get a brush out of the shop there. I'm going to wipe it down or even a broom. I'm going to get a vacuum. I mean, because none of this is uh, safe. I mean, this, this is pretty flammable stuff. And wait, flammable hot dryer with the flame. In this case, we have an electric dryer. So there's no flame, but it certainly gets hot enough to put anything on fire. Uh, so it's... I mean, real good idea just to get a, a vacuum in here and sweep this out. Um, I mean, look at this. I mean, I still I left the clothes in. I can still I can see the clothes right through right through here, and here's the the, the dirt. Well, wait a minute. 
I just took the clothes out of the washing machine to wash them and put them in the dryer to dry them, but I'm right next to the dirt. Well, that'll explain a few things on my clothes. Uh, you got your fan down here, give that a spin. Look in there, make sure it's all clear. The whole idea, indeed, look at my hands. The whole idea is make sure all your dust and your dirt. Look at that. I mean, that's on, you know, I mean, it's only on the bottom. It's not going to affect the way it dries, but it certainly will affect the way it goes on fire. So we don't want that. Um, fortunately, I, I feel pretty confident that in our situation with all this, I think I found my problem with the dryer. Um, again, this is a, an electric dryer. You know, here are your, your leads for your, uh, your, heat, your heating elements. Uh, you know, light bulb. If your light bulb, if your light doesn't work, great time to change it. If you even care, you have heat sensors throughout your dryer, which I'm not going to get into, and quite honestly, I don't know enough to, to try to educate you on it. Um, so, let's sweep this down and check it all out. Just uh, remember, the more dust and dirt you have in there, the more problem you're going to have. If you first take it apart and you say, ah, well, maybe that will work. You know what? You already took the whole dryer out and apart. Just keep going. What do you got to lose? It wasn't working before, so if you have to buy a new one, you have to buy a new one. Or you have to call somebody, you have to call somebody. But at least with this video, it will give you a little idea what you could really find in there. Um, and I'll tell you the truth, making this video, I did not expect to find that in there at all. Uh, I was kind of thinking maybe uh, some kind of nest, like a bird's nest or something like that. Anyway, I'm Dominic from XBDIY.com. Thanks for watching. One more thing to say. I want to thank everybody. Everybody that subscribes to my videos and goes to my website and all that fan mail you guys keep sending me. I love it. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Again, thanks for watching.